All right, good morning. Today we're going to be doing a, oh, today we're going to be doing a beginner total body strength class. So let's just start by warming up, even though we just were saying how hot it is, but still have to, maybe our body's hot, but our muscles might not be warm up yet. All right, so just stepping back and forth, swinging those arms. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. We'll do a little marching in place. Good. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Awesome. Okay, so for our first exercise, we're gonna, you can hold on to the wall as always if you would like. And we're going to go from a side to back kick. So again, to make it more challenging, first of all, you can try not to hold on, or you can also try not to place your foot down in between. So try to not let that right leg or whichever leg you start with touch the floor. All right, so side and back. And again, while you do this, Making sure the rest of your body isn't tipping forward and backward. You're staying upright and just moving that leg. Doesn't matter how far you can get it, just as long as you're not moving the rest of your body. Good. Keep breathing. Make sure that standing leg has a slight bend in it. Good. Keep breathing. Six. Getting those legs warmed up. I'm sure you're going to feel it. Eight, good, nine, keep breathing, 10, 11, good, one more in each direction, and stop. All right, give both legs a little shake, we'll move to the other side. All right, standing up tall, slight bend in the standing leg, send it to the side. And back. Good. Keep breathing. Three. And four. Oh, we have a visitor. <laughs> Five. Good. Six. Breathing. Seven. Eight. Hear some squeaks in the back. Just our motivation from Brewer. Good. Two more. Good. And last one. All right. Awesome. Give those legs a little shake. We're going to grab our dumbbells. And again, you can do this with or without dumbbells. We're going to have our arms at 90 degrees. And we're going to do a standing chest press. So we're going to bring our arms together in the front, trying to keep that 90 degrees in your arm. Good. Keep breathing. Three. And again, this feels too heavy with your weights. Feel free to do this without any weight. Try not to rush through. Good. Six. Peter seems to really like these. Good. Keep breathing, no speeding up. Good, last three. Two. And one. All right, you can put those weights to the side. We'll do those legs one more time, side to back. So feel free to hold on, standing up tall. We'll bring it to the side and back. Good, slight bend in that standing leg. Uh, keep breathing. <laughs> We're getting your snout out of there. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, and for anyone who doesn't know, I know I've said this before, but any anyone who's watching this, the treats are right behind the camera here. So he is very interested in the camera. <laughs> Good. Keep breathing. Good. Four more in each direction, staying up tall. 
Again, doesn't matter how high you get your leg, just keeping everything else stable. And one more in each direction. And okay, give those legs a little shake. We'll switch to the other side. Standing up tall, slight bend of the standing leg. And we'll send that leg out to the side and back. Five and five. Good. Three. Four. Good. Five. Keep breathing. Then you can make it harder by not putting that leg down in between. Seven. Eight. Nine. And two more, you got this, 11 and 12. All right, give those legs a little shake. We'll grab our dumbbells again, if you would like, for that standing chest press, but 90 degrees and feet in the middle. Breathing nice and slow. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. Ten. Good. Eleven. And twelve. Awesome. Okay, so the next one you can still keep your dumbbells if you'd like, but I'm gonna put mine to the side. We're going to do a squat with four punches at the bottom and then coming back up. So if you want to make it a little harder, you can use those dumbbells. We're gonna have our feet about hip distance apart, toes and knees facing forward. Coming down into your squat, just check on those knees, make sure they're not going over your toes. You decide how far down you want to go. We'll go to the bottom and punch one, two, three, four, and come up. Good. Go down. Punch one, two, three, four, and up. Good. Again, doesn't have to be a super far down squat. Just make sure those knees aren't going over your toes. Good. Awesome. Keep breathing. Squat. Punch one, two, three, four, and up. Good. One, two, three, four, and up. Squat. One, two, three, four, and up. Good. Keep breathing. One, two, three, four, and up. All right, let's do four more. Chuck on those knees. Good. Squat. One, two, three, four, and up. Good, last two, squat, one, two, three, four, up, and last one, squat, one, two, three, four, and up. All right, give those legs a little shake, arms a little shake. We're gonna grab our dumbbells again. Okay, so this time, again, optional, it's a two in one. We're gonna do a curl to press overhead, if it bothers you to lift over your head, just continue with the curls and we're, you're gonna do double the amount of the curls. All right, here we go. So curl and press. Good. Really excited about this one. <laughs> curl and press. Good. Keep breathing. Curl and press. Curl and press. Good. Keep breathing. Curl and press. Very excited. Curl and press. Good. We have three more. Good. Curl. Press. Good. Curl and press. One more. No rushing through. Curl and press. Awesome. Okay, here 
Great job. So again, if you want to keep holding your dumbbells for the punches, you can. If not, you can put those to the side. We're going to have our feet hip distance apart, toes and knees facing forward. We'll squat and punch one, two, three, four, and up. Good. Squat one, two, three, four, and up. Good. Check on those knees. Make sure they're not going over your toes and make sure they're not coming in towards each other. Good. Keep breathing. Punch one, two, three, four, and up. Good. Squat. Punch one, two, three, four, and up. Good. You're halfway. You got this. Good. Squat. Punch one, two, three, four, and up. Squat. One, two, three, four, and up. Good. Four more. Squat. One, two, three, four, and up. Squat. One, two, three, four, and up. Good. Two more. Squat. One, two, three, four, and up. Last one. Squat. One, two, three, four, and up. All right. We will grab those dumbbells again. Again, optional. Um, shoulder press. We're continuing with the curls. So elbows glued, palms facing forward. Curl and press if you would like. Good. Breathing nice and slow. Two. Good. Three. Four. Good. Five. Good. Keep going. Six. Seven. Eight. Awesome job. Keep going. No speeding up. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Good. And last one. Twelve. Perfect. All right. You can put those weights to the side. We're going to hold on to the wall again, if you would like. And we're going to lift up, out, in, and down. Trying to target that quad muscle in the front. Trust me, you will feel it. And again, you can decide how high you want to bring that leg. If you want to just bring it down here, that's okay. If you want to make it harder and bring it up here, perfect. So we're going to do 12 on each side. So we'll go up, out, in, and down. Again, the whole rest of your body is staying up tall. So pretend like that storing is attached to your head, pulling you towards the ceiling. Try to make sure that standing leg has a slight bend in the knee. Keep going. Up, out, in, out. Up, out, in, out. Good. Halfway. Up, out, in, down. And again, it might get harder to bring it higher. You might start seeing it not come up as much, but that's okay. Up, out, in, out. Good. Three more. Up, out, in, down, up, out, in, down. Good. Last one. Up, out, in, and out. All right. Give those legs a little shake. We'll switch to the other side. Standing up tall, scoring attached to your head. We'll lift up, out, in, and up, out, in, out. Good. Keep breathing. Out, in, out. Up, out, in. Out. Good. Up, out, in, out. Good. Keep breathing. We're halfway there. Staying up tall. Up, out, in. Good. Up, out, in, out. Good. Last three. Good. 
two. And final one. Perfect. All right, give those legs a little shake. We're gonna grab our dumbbells again, and we're going to do a row. So we're gonna have our feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the waist, Weights out in front, head where it feels comfortable. Then we're gonna pull up, elbows close to your body. Pretend like you're squeezing your shoulder blades together and come back down. Good, squeeze at the top and back down. Three, good, four. Good, keep that back flat, pelvic tilt. Good. Six. Seven, eight, good, nine, ten, eleven, and last one, twelve. All right, awesome. You can put those to the side. We'll go back to our quads here. So feel free to hold on. String attached to your head, pulling you towards the ceiling. We'll lift up, out, in, down, up, out, in, down, good, up, out, in, down, good, keep breathing, up, out, in, down, good, up, out, in, down, good, up. In, down, you're halfway there. Up, out, in, down, good. Up, out, in, down, good. Four more. Up, out, in, down, up, out, in, down. Keep breathing. Two more on this side. Good. And last one. Up. Out, in, and out. Great. Give those legs a little shake. We'll switch to the other side. String attached to your head. Standing up tall. We'll lift up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in, down. Good. Up, out, in, down. Keep breathing. Up. Out, in, down, up, out, in, down. Great job. Keep going. Staying up tall. Keep breathing. We're halfway done. Up, out, in, down, good. Up, out, in, down, good. Four more. Up, out, in, down. In, down, last two, up, out, in, down, last one, out, in, and down. All right, give those legs a little shake. We're gonna do the row once again. All right, so feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the waist, back flat, weights out in front of you, head where it feels comfortable. Row up, squeeze the shoulder blades, and come back. Good. Pretend like you can hold something between those shoulder blades. Breathing. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Keep breathing. Nine. Ten. Good. Elbows close to your body. Eleven. And twelve. All right. Great job. You can put those weights to the side. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do 12 calf raises with our feet together. Again, always optional to hold on. Then we're going to bring them hip distance apart and do 12 calf raises here. Then we're going to go as wide as you can, little mini squat, and 12 calf raises here. 
So we're going to do that and see how you feel at the end. <laughs> so we're going to do 12, 12, and 12. We'll reposition to get to the next set. So you don't have to like, hurry up and get to the next position right away. Okay. So, but as always, pretend like there's a string attached to your head pulling you towards the ceiling. We'll start with the regular calf raise feet together and walk. Again, as always, doesn't matter how high you go as long as you're going up and not swinging forward. Okay. Five. Breathing six, seven. And as always, feel free to do less and go a little slower, but try not to go any faster. Three, two, and one. All right, little shake. We'll bring up to hip distance apart. Strong attach to your head again, and we'll go from here. Good. Two, three. Four, good, five, six, seven, eight, good, nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right, give those legs a little shake. Now we'll bring our legs as wide as we can. Little bend in the knees, trying to make sure they're not going over your toes. And then we're gonna come up on our toes again and do the calf raises here. Good. Again, no rushing through. Doesn't matter how high you can get them. Four, five, six, good, seven, eight, Good, keep breathing, nine. Don't worry, we'll stretch them at the end. 11 and 12. All right, good. Give those legs a little shake. Deep breath in, out. Let me get my timer out. We can do obviously our favorite thing, the arm circuit. So, if I can find the timer. Okay, here it is. Okay, so for today, we'll do one round of four different things, 20 seconds each, and we're gonna start with pulsing up, pulsing down, 90 degree pulse, and then we're going to straighten our arms and bring them in front of our chest. So pulse up, pulse down, 90, and straight across. All right, so we will start in three, two, and pulsing up. Again, little pulses, trying not to move your full body. Relax the neck, just moving those arms. Good. Awesome. Keep going. We'll pulse down in three, two, one. Pulsing down. Good. Relax the neck, just little pulses here. Keep breathing 10 more seconds, then we'll do the 90 degree pulse. Good. Three, two, one. 90 degrees, little pulse here. Almost there. Almost done with the routine, and then we will stretch. Good. 10 seconds here, and then we'll straighten our arms and bring them across our body. Good. Three, two, one, straighten those arms, bring the palms together in the front again. Very nice and slow, so you're making sure you're not moving your whole entire body. Good. 10 seconds, you got this. And now the arms are getting tired. Good. Three, two, and all right, great job. Let's do a little stretch routine. So let's bring our arm across our body, holding here, deep breath in and out. Again, as always, if you wanna just move your hips from side to side, just loosen them up if it feels okay, of course. We'll switch arms. We'll do a quick little routine here. Feel free to repeat these a second time or check out our stretch video on YouTube for a longer, longer stretch and relaxation video. Okay. Let those arms swing. We'll bring our arm behind our back and grab onto the elbow 
as always, if it feels uncomfortable or painful, feel free to skip it. Yes, you want to feel the stretch, but it shouldn't hurt. Good. Breathing. Let's switch to the other side. Rolling our shoulders back, nice and slow. And forward. We're going to do a nice, slow, big head roll all the way around. And other way. All right, now let's stretch the calves, which again, I would recommend maybe stretching them again if they're feeling tight, either against the wall or if you've got your heel on the ground, reaching for that chest. Feel free to repeat these a second time. Really work those calf muscles. Feeling tight, definitely stretch them out a little bit more afterwards. All right, let's switch to the other side. Breathing for all these stretches. Awesome. All right, we're gonna get to the top. We're gonna bring those legs apart, slight bend in the knee, letting our whole body fall forward, releasing any tension in the neck and back and just swaying back and forth. Breathing here, feel free to grab onto the elbows. Slowly going up to the top. In. And arms behind your back, opening up your chest and out. Deep breath in. Arms behind your back, opening up your chest and out. Good, we'll do two more. Deep breath in. And out. One more, big deep breath in. And out. All right, awesome job, everyone.